Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Diamond here, also known as Nomad. So today I've created this really cute, pretty, soft look with my Renaissance palette. Yes, I love this palette and I used every single color on my eye from this palette. So this is really a good palette to have. Um, and I'm so happy to be back. This is probably going to be my second video, but I'm recording on my first day i recorded two videos in one so yeah y'all make sure you guys like this video if it was very helpful make sure you put some comments below because i missed you guys so 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 much and um don't forget to subscribe and let me know also in the comments what else you guys want to see so i probably already mentioned this in my last video just a repeat i think i'm going to be doing videos um, on Tuesdays and on Fridays. So that will be my upload days. It's no longer January, so we're not doing it every single day. But um, y'all let me know what you want to see. Let me know. Just let me know something. I just want to talk to y'all. I miss y'all so much. Alright, I'm taking my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. And I'm using that just to set my eyeshadows as my primer, basically. I'm going with my Modern Renaissance Palette. And I'm using that first color, Tempura. And I'm going to just put that over my entire eyelid, especially up close to my brow bone, just to give my brow bone a nice color. And then all down my eyelid just to help blend out the other shadows that I'm going to use. Now I'm using Burnt Orange, and I'm going to just apply that in circular motions into my crease and just keep blending. Y'all know my saying, just keep blending, just keep blending. And that is what I'm doing with this color. Now I'm taking the color Real Gar and I'm going to put that color right under Burnt Orange. I really want to focus that into my crease just so my crease is more defined and I have a more defined shape and it stands out. Now I'm taking the color Primavera and I'm going to put that on my actual eyelid, just on the lid. I'm going to keep that under the color um, Real Gar. Now I'm taking a smaller brush and I'm going in with Cypress Umber and I'm going to put that on my outer crease and just blend it out just to give it a little slight smoke effect to my eye. I wanted to keep this look very pretty, very natural, so I think it did a good job. Now I'm using my NYC Liquid Liner and as y'all see I like to start right under my lid and go out and then just bring it right back in. Once I do that I can go back in and fill in the blank spots. Now I'm using my favorite lashes from Elure. I actually get these from Walgreens. They're like the YouTube edition. Now I'm taking my matte concealer and I'm going to clean up underneath my eyes so that my wing liner and my eyeshadows are just very neat and clean and precise. Now I'm taking my NYX, my NYX um, concealer and I'm going to put this on a few spots I have on my face. I know, I know, I still have not told y'all what happened to my face, but I promise you I will in another video. Y'all just have to stay tuned It you will find out. So I'm just covering up a few spots that I have or whatever. And I really love this NYX concealer because it does a great job. And this matches my skin perfectly. Like I could put this on and not have on any foundation, honestly. So go check out those NYX concealers if y'all have a few little problem areas. Now I'm taking my Born This Way foundation in the shade Honey and I'm using a beauty blender just to apply that. Um, I normally like to use brushes but right now my face is really liking using the beauty blender so that's what I'm using. Um, sorry for these weird faces I'm making. I'm having a full conversation. It was really funny. I should probably like let y'all hear a conversation that we have one day because it's hilarious. I might show this one off. We'll see. I'm using my MAC Concealer Pro Onwear Concealer in the color NC42 to highlight the areas that I want to stand out, the, high, the areas that I want to push forward. And I'm just going to blend that out with my Beauty Blender as well. But anyways, like I was saying, yeah, our conversation is funny. I might do this video again. No, because y'all already saw it. So I'm going to like one day randomly one of the conversations that I have on the phone, I'm just gonna like put that in videos because y'all, I'm sure y'all gonna laugh. 
I was laughing while I was remaking this video for y'all today. Now I'm using my um, foundation in the color coconut. This is a Maybelline Fit Me foundation. And I'm putting that on the places that I want to contour my cheeks, around my forehead, and under my chin. Using my Ben Nye Banana Powder, and I'm going to put that in the places that I want to set my highlight. So everywhere I highlight it, I'm putting that powder to set it. Using my NYX Contour Palette, those two dark shades, I usually just mix them together. And I put those where I contoured to set my contour. Now I'm just brushing off that powder and I'm going to go in with my Revolution highlighting powder, the highlighter. And I love this highlighter, it's super cheap and I really use it every single day. So I'm going down the bridge of my nose, a little bit on my forehead. I'm also going to take it um, on the sides of my cheeks and then I'll put a little bit above my lip. Now I'm going back in my Renaissance palette and I'm using the color Burnt Orange and I'm going to apply that underneath my bottom lash line. Then I'm going to go back in that same palette and use that color Real Gar and do the same thing with it. Put it right above that color Burnt Orange. Now I'm using my mascara and I'm putting it on my bottom lashes and I'm also going to apply it to my top lashes just because well, that's all I like to do. I'm using the MAC 3D Volumizing Mascara. Now I'm using my MAC Blush. This is in the color Amber and Rose and I'm going to put that on the apples of my cheeks and just blend that out. And then I'm just going to set my spray, set my face with some setting spray. Now I'm just taking a brown lip liner. I usually use chestnut, but I could not find chestnut, so this is just a brown that I found. And I'm just gonna line my lips. Now I'm going in with a pink Tarte lipstick. I do not remember the name of this lipstick. Um, I got it with the Sephora birthday gift thing. So that's what I'm using and that is this look. I want it to look very natural, very pretty. Hope you guys like it. That is all for this look. You guys know what to do. Keep shining bright like a diamond. See you guys next time. Bye.